Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 You know, guys, I have a question for you. Do you guys believe in karma? You know, you do something bad, and eventually, something bad happens to you. Maybe on the contrary, you do something good, and something good happens to you, right? What goes around, comes around sort of thing. You know, some people run their mouth towards the scad master just... And we silence them. You know, that, that's a form of karma. Well, I personally believe it works in a lot of weird, different ways, because not only do I feel like Activision has received karma, as a result of that, we are kind of receiving karma as the Call of Duty community as well. Which just leads me to say that, I mean, everything going on with Call of Duty right now is just simply not it. I mean, say what you want about the clickbaity titles, but to me, this is horrifying, just purely disgusting news about Call of Duty. You know, a couple of days ago, we covered the whole H2M mod thing going on with Activision and how they cease and desisted and people are on the fence about, oh, is it copyright infringement you're protecting their IP? Versus, you know, they're actually truthfully just scared that H2M is gonna impact the sales of Black Ops 6. You know, probably because some people would rather play Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered over the sixth installment of Black Ops. <laughs> And you know, that's a whole other thing, because after Black Ops 6, we have another Treyarch title immediately after. But what happens after that? But before we get into it guys, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. We're pretty close to 26,000 subscribers, obviously you guys know the goal right now is 30k. So if you want to support the Scad Master, if you want to see these hot takes, if you want to see me bully some people around, especially Activision, you know what to do, alright? But listen, in 2026, I know that's a little bit far away, we are unfortunately getting Modern Warfare 2019 Part 4. <laughs> that's right, that's like a cursed term here on the channel, MW 2019 Part Anything, it's just cursed. And I called it, I knew it, there's no way they would just leave MW2019 to die the way that they probably should. They want to continue it for years and years and years to come. Well, there is some bad news here for not only Activision, but for us as a community as well. This comes out from Bob Network UK, he says, MW4 development is currently at a standstill. The team is seemingly unhappy with the narrative and the mechanics of the game, and Activision is putting severe pressure on the studio as a whole. Now, I'm just gonna put it out there. I personally think if you like MW 2019 to the point where you think it deserves like four or five different installments afterwards, I think you belong on the short bus, all right? Look, you can hate the Scout Master, you can get upset, it is what it is. I think MW 2019 is the worst multiplayer experience that I have ever had in Call of Duty. Ah! That doesn't mean the game overall is just god awful. I am talking about the multiplayer experience for 6v6. Horrifying, just putrid, disgusting, just <laughs> disgusting. All right, just pitiful. Now, for whatever ungodly reason, Infinity Ward and Activision have decided to continue the Modern Warfare 2019 series into a fourth installment. Why? I don't know, man. I really, really don't. And that's the bad news for us as a community, is the fact that this game is going to come out one day, and I, I just know for a fact it's going to suck fucking balls. And if its mere existence isn't enough to convince you of that, apparently, they don't even know what the fuck they want to do with it. And I don't even blame the developers, you know? Infinity Ward already is just not the creative bunch, they're not really the most efficient, they're definitely not the most competent whatso goddamn ever. But to do this for a fourth time, there is simply no way, creatively, that they can pull off something that is of quality, okay? Like, you, you've run yourself out thin. If you guys think I am clickbaiting, right? If you guys think I'm just repeating myself, hating for views, this and that, it's unoriginal. Look at what's going on with Activision and Infinity Ward. They're doing the same song and dance for the fourth time. And the reason this is karma for Activision is the fact that they're out here cease and desisting their own fans for a project that will actually be received well. Meanwhile, they're working on a project that simply will not be received well. You know, as the Ghost of Hope says, no wonder they are cease and desisting fan-made projects that made no money. They're creatively bankrupt. And I completely agree, because there's simply no way this is gonna be good. I don't know if you saw the last part, but apparently it's gonna feature 
MW3 Original Maps Remastered. Why? In MW 2019 Part 4 and not 2019 Part 3, which is titled Modern Warfare 3, I don't know guys. I really, really truthfully, I don't know anymore. These developers do not know their elbows from their ass. Activision, you know what we call them. We call them Ass Division because there's not one single competent move that they've made in like the last decade and a half. All right, guys, I genuinely hope that this project does not come out. I, I hope Infinity Ward, something happens to the point where they just decide, you know what, this is no longer worth it. Activision, hopefully on their end, they see, you know what, we're probably not going to make a lot of money from this, considering the fact that MW 2019 Part 2 was completed. Utter ass cheeks, okay? MW 2019 Part 3 was supposed to be the revised version of that. This game is ass too! The reason you guys are seeing gameplay in the background is because finally I'm on PC and I got some games in for free, again, on a separate platform. Oh, bruh! And I personally think it's funny that I get to play this game and not in any way monetarily support Activision and or Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer Games and definitely with Black Ops 6, sorry Treyarch, you're not getting my money, it's happening again. I will be playing for free, zero dollars, zero cents. All of this guys, it is a result of how dog shit the last few CODs have been. And if you really, really want to take a deep dive into this, what have you noticed about every single Call of Duty except for Cold War since MW 2019? You want a hint? It's right there. MW 2019. Every single game to come out since then has in some way, somehow been influenced greatly by MW 2019. <laughs> and if you don't like that game, then you've caught every single ass whiff of that dog shit game ever since. Except for Cold War, once again, but Cold War is its own goddamn nightmare. I mean, we, we've talked about that before. The launch of that game just <laughs> horrifying. Think about it. MW 2019, then Cold War. Then we got Vanguard, which is literally MW 2019 with a World War II skin on it. That shit stinks! Then we got MW 2019 Part 2. That shit stinks! Then we got 2019 Part 3. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks! And now we're getting Black Ops 6, which if you've seen the leaks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It might as well be called Cold War 2019. This game might actually be MW 2019 part 3.5. I don't know guys, but the point is after that we are going to get the fourth actual official installment of MW 2019. Why? I don't know. I understand they made a lot of money from it. You know, the rebooted series, it's been very popular amongst gooch lickers and people with an IQ below fucking four, but you cannot keep doing this to yourselves and to the community. And look, I totally get it. If you are a big fan of 2019, you might be looking at me like, yo, Fooly, wh why do you hate it so much? First of all, let let's just get this clear. I don't hate it. I just think it is ass. It's not good, okay? The multiplayer is horrifying, you know? This was when SBMM was first cranked to an ungodly level. Then we have horrifying maps, okay? Like really, really, really bad maps, safe spaces, doors, mounting, footsteps, no red dots on the minimap, no dead silence perk, ghost worked in a horrifying way again, and the developers were hellbent on everybody consuming their vision. This is our vision. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Thank God Joe Seacott is no longer around, all right? But even so, you know what? Fuck it. Joe Seacott, get your ass on the short bus and go straight to Epstein Island and don't come back. The reason you're here is because your dog shit concoction back in 2019 has some way somehow made its way to influence us all the way up to 2026 minimum. Guys, like genuinely, I'm at a loss for words. I really do not want MW 2019 part four. I don't wanna play it. I don't wanna think about it. If that game actually comes out, I swear to you guys, hold me accountable for this. I will not be playing. MW4. You will not see gameplay. I will not play it. I will not buy it. That will be the year 
that I drop off from Call of Duty. Hopefully by that point, you know, the channel's grown to a point where we're, we're just talking about other things and we're playing other games and we're streaming and it's kind of fun. Until then, I gotta smack around Activision, I gotta smack around the developers, you know what it is, all right? But mark my words, when that game comes out, I simply cannot do that to myself again. 2019 was god awful. 2019 part two, in, in some ways, was actually even worse. I personally think it's slightly better, but depending on which lens you're using, part two was fucking ass. Then we have part three, which genuinely should not exist. Okay, let, let's not beat around the bush. This game should not exist. Part three literally did not need to exist had Infinity Ward simply just used common sense and actually listened to feedback. That's the only difference. We probably should have had the remastered MW2 maps back then in part two. But no, you know how Activision's greed is. They want to push it back for whatever ungodly reason, probably for more money. And now we're getting MW3 maps in MW 2019 part four. You understand how confusing this is getting every time I say MW, every time I say 2019 part something. Guys, I'm confused even talking about it. You're probably confused listening to it. What do you think these developers are going through? I mean, I don't know if they got Infinity Ward in a sweatshop right now, that's probably exactly what's happening because under no circumstance can I possibly see how anybody possibly thinks MW4 is a good idea, especially not by Infinity Ward. Holy shit, anybody but Infinity Ward. My grandmother could probably develop this game better than Infinity Ward because she is more competent and she's not even here anymore. That's how incompetent Infinity Ward is in my eyes. In Activision, you guys deserve every single L that comes to you. If this game is a complete and utter failure, and you're trying to pressure these developers into making another god-awful concoction, you guys deserve the L. That game deserves to be one of the most god-awfully reviewed games of all time in COD, simply because you keep on regurgitating the same crap. This is for H2M Multiplayer, a game that actually would have been quite fun. Not original, Okay, all right, we're, we're keeping the theme here, non-original, but actually fun by people who care. Thankfully, a lot of people who bought MWR on Steam not only refunded it, making it one of the most refunded games on Steam, but now reviews of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam have changed to overwhelmingly negative after Activision issued a cease and desist to the H2M multiplayer mod team. Once again, karma. It's karma. They deserve that. The same way that when MW4 comes out, it deserves to be review bombed. It deserves to have god awful ratings. It deserves to not be one of the highest selling Call of Duties of all time. It's probably still gonna go number one, let's be honest. These gooch lickers, you know, they like Bobby Cosby's ball sack down their fucking esophagus. But in terms of perception, that game absolutely deserves to be one of the worst CODs of all time undoubtedly on the list of worst CODs of all time. The only thing they have going for them is the fact that this thing isn't supposed to come out till 2026. Can they figure it out by that point? I mean, that's like two years away. I would assume if they had a brain, they'd probably figure something out. But then again, we're talking about Infinity Ward. Not only are they non-creative, they don't care about what the community has to say. They don't listen to feedback. And on top of that, they're taking Activision's backies. What I'm seeing, guys, is a recipe for disaster. I don't know about you guys, but what I'm getting from all this is that Infinity Ward does not have what it takes. Activision deserves every single monetary L they could possibly get from the existence of this game. And I don't feel bad that they're at a standstill. And I'm not surprised because this is going to be like the ninth or 10th Modern Warfare-esque thing to exist in Call of Duty history. Sure, back in the golden days, like Modern Warfare was really, really, regarded as some of the greatest Call of Duty to date, but in the modern era, the Dark Ages of COD, the Modern Warfare reboot, it is ass. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. If that game ever, hopefully it doesn't, but if it ever comes out, are you guys buying MW 2019 part four? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.